What's up, y'all? W, and I'm back with my favorite play of the year, the biggest play I have in the doubles on, and one of the plays that I kind of held back before the New Jersey tournament, and I didn't really want to drop it for y'all, but I'm going to do it, and I'm going to show y'all the part four of the Green Bay doubles on mini scheme, and that's halfback circle, a play with a halfback angle route, which have been dominant in Madden for years, a stock 10-yard out route, a baby hitch, and of course, a deep corner route that we still don't know how to guard in Madden 18, so it has everything you want. And this is the main play that I use in double zone, and I'll show y'all why. Mainly because this corner route cannot be guarded. And, of course, you have the running back angle route. In case you get pressure, you can dump it off. Now, with this corner route, what I like to do is always put it on the short side of the field. You see a lot of people running their corner routes to the wide side of the field. Me, however, I like mine on the short side because the deep blue really will probably never, ever play this in cover four or cover threes. Different type of coverages, you will not find one that will jump down and cover this corner route because I run into the short side rather than the wide side. Throw it to the left and down and possession catch it. Always put your best route runner and your best receiver in the slot. In Mutt, I have Chris Carter. I love Julio Jones in the slot, but if I'm using Seattle, I'll put Doug Baldwin because he is the best catch in traffic, the best catch, and the best route running. So I'll put him over there in that spot, and he'll continue to catch this route which in front of the deep blues and over any clouds, purples, yellows, whatever you want to put out there, we all know they don't cover the deep corner route, and that's what makes this play so dominant. Along with all the other reads, it's a play in the game, one of the few that you can run consistently without a single hot route. So you can come out here and quick snap. You have the halfback angle, you have the baby hitch, and you have this play to Jimmy Graham. If they want to blitz and get cute in cover two, High ball over the middle of Jimmy Graham. The high-low read between the tight end and the halfback angle is really good against pressure. It really puts a bind on the user because if to cover Jimmy Graham or a tight end, you really have to dedicate yourself to it, and that leaves the running back wide open. So that's two, another thing I love about the play. Along with the 10-yard out route, sometimes I'll max protect, and if all else fails, you can play maker to baby hitch and get you some yards underneath if they take their user to cover your corner route which is what they're probably going to end up doing because that corner route is that dominant. So a lot of a lot of offenses now so far in Man 18 are really dedicated around the deep corner route, and honestly, doubles on is nothing different. And here you'll see in a couple games, this is actually on the middle of the field, but I still have you know, my wide route over there to the short side. I go ahead and throw it earlier. That time I held wide to come around away from the corner. That was actually cover four, and it's still burning. Here we go with the max protect. He does not take his user to cover wide, so I'll lead it over there, possession catch in front of the deep blue. It's really a dominant route. And here we go. This is actually match coverage, and I see that. This is why you put Julio Jones and Chris Carter, in case they do something stupid, like play man coverage with no safety, he'll beat them on the route, and you can lob it up top. Here you go, man coverage with a cloud zone. It gets past both of them. Beats the man in deeper than a cloud zone, just a really dominant route. Two-man rusher, we're all out. Again, I think that's Desmond Trufant just cannot cover Chris Carter. I'm going to be two-man rush here. Uh, it's not really open. I'll playmaker my hitch back over the middle and get some yards with, I think that's Randy Moss. Really good with the playmaker chemistry. Go man-to-man -man again. Out route beats man-to-man. -man. You have to get your timing down on that because it's really sensitive this year. You will do interceptions if you don't get your timing down on the 10-yard out route on man press. But there's really not a zone. You see this DB fire two blitz everybody, hit them over the top of your tight end, get down so you can't get hit. That's one of the ways I like to attack the blitz. This is really a play that can be ran against every coverage, a blitz, all out coverage, anywhere. Once I get inside the 25, I really don't think that corner route is effective because the deep blues will be in the back of the end zone and they'll play more aggressive. So if you get inside the 30, I would you know shy away from this play. And mix in the other ones that I gave to you, like corner strike and flanker dig. But this play is really the basis of my offense right now. I really love it. And it really puts a bind on the user because I feel you kind of got to use most of the routes on the field. It's all predicated around a deep corner. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If I get 200 likes, I'm going to put out the fifth installment of the Green Bay Doubles on Mini Scheme. And I'm telling you, that one's going to be better than this one. It's going to be a one-play touchdown. And I will show it to all you guys. So please... 200 likes, I'll drop that. Please hit the sub button. Follow me on social media for all updates on new plays, new videos, anything that's coming out. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. Nerd!